Greetings, Kindred. I am Voivode Maquette, and welcome back to our World of Darkness and Level by Level. Uh, today we are moving on to Auspex Level 2 and the power of Premonition. This power has opened up so many doors for my game because we have the wonderful character of Dawn Rose. Dawn is a mystery. I love this character. This was the first time that I got to sit down with Serendipity Weird and actually flesh out a character together. Step by step, piece by piece, every part of this character was a combination of my gaming experience and Serendipity's passion and creativeness. I loved building this character with her because it was a bonding experience between the two of us. The reason I'm focusing on Dawn so much while I'm talking about Premonition is because as a storyteller, that is the first character that I had in my game with Premonition. And she has this thought process where she believes, uh, whether she does or not is yet to be determined, but she believes that she receives messages from the Divine. And since she actually purchased the Premonition uh, power of Auspex, we've been using that as the mechanics for how she gets her messages. And it has worked out so well. Uh, for those of you who watched the Thicker Than Water recap, I'm sure you've seen some of the cinematics I do uh, with Dawn's dreams and things like that. Those are all based off of her premonitions. So my thoughts aside, let's go ahead and take a look at what the book has to say about the power. The vampire experiences flashes of insight. This may take the form of raised hackles, sudden inspiration, or even vivid visions. While never too precise, these visions can nudge a vampire out of harm's way or reveal a truth previously overlooked. I love how vague that is. And I think when you come to psychic gifts and psychism powers and the like, it, it really does need to be vague. This really reminds me of the merit from the old system's danger sense, where you couldn't be snuck up on. And uh, it, I think it goes a little bit more in depth than danger sense, though, because it does come with the concept of visions. This is the kind of thing that I was talking about when I mentioned uh, when we did heightened senses that the person got sudden flashes of insight and an, an almost ESP. This is the kind of thing that used to be bunched together in heightened senses, but was massively overlooked. And I'm so glad that Premonition has its own place now. Now, also in older editions, there was a power for elders called Clairvoyance, and it effectively did the same thing as this, but it was a lot more overpowered, and it also let you read surface thoughts and things like that of people in the room, which, which really made having that character in the game unbearable because you had to stop the scene just to talk about what every single person was thinking at the same time. And with that one, what I used to do is actually pause the scene and have everybody say what they were thinking at the exact same time so that the person who was using the power wouldn't be able to really catch on to what was going on. The cost of premonition is free or arouse check. And I love the fact that there is a, a free or. The free is if the storyteller decides that they're gonna pounce on you with something, such as when Dawn receives visions from God. The arouse check portion of it is if you decide to induce a premonition by concentrating on something, almost like spirits touch without needing to actually touch something. The dice pool is resolve plus Aspects, which makes a lot of sense because resolve is your willpower, in effect. Uh, resolve plus composure equals your willpower. So the fact that this is your willpower plus your aspects so that you can force a heightened level of perception onto things does make a lot of sense in my opinion. The system, however, states, Whenever the storyteller deems it appropriate, this power gives the character a sudden hint that aids them in some way, letting them find a clue they've missed or saving them from danger. Whether it gives the character a sudden vision of themselves walking into a trap 
an inviting red glow over the second right turn during a chase, or a brief flash of a skeleton beneath the floorboards of the Prince's Haven. This power always gives the storyteller license to subtly speed up play or move the story onto a desired track. The suggested limit is one per scene, even if more than one character has premonition. Now, the user can also provoke a premonition by focusing on a subject, making a rouse check and rolling resolve plus aspects. The number of successes rolled determines the level of insight on the subject, if any. In my opinion, I think that was a later addition. I think that this was originally a completely passive power, but I mean, I as a storyteller, I will completely admit that sometimes I forget that this is an option in my game. I have gotten a lot better as an ST uh, when we're in a scene and people start getting stuck because sometimes as storytellers, we do tend to bury the lead a little deep when it comes to stories. And giving somebody a little bit of information or how they can find a clue can kind of help sometimes. Having premonition in your game is such a gift for storytellers because it helps you to be able to push stories into the right direction. And if your storyteller does tend to forget that passive disciplines such as this exist during a game, you can always provoke it yourself as a player with that resolve plus aspects test, which I think is very, very helpful. The duration is passive. So it's either going to be popping up when the storyteller seems worthy, or if you specifically need insight of your own, then by all means use it. This is just a discipline of complete help, in my opinion, for the way games can get stagnant and stuck in certain scenes sometimes. If you feel as a storyteller that you're in the middle of a scene, then perhaps you need to take into consideration whether or not your characters have this or maybe an NPC should just in case or if you're a player and you feel like you're having issues but you know the subject matter you might want to sit down close your eyes and make that resolve plus aspects check so with the advent of v5 and our gaming arsenal what uses of premonition have come up in your experiences. I would like to know exactly if you've used Premonition before, how you've used it, where it's come in handy with both storytellers and players. I am Voivode Maquette. This has been a look into Premonition and the inner workings of this second level Auspex powers. Thank you for joining me. Class dismissed.